the hip joint, a marvel of natural engineering. One of the strongest and most complex joints in the human body, enabling a range of movements, including the most basic of them all, walking. But the hip can go wrong, causing pain and stiffness, and restricting freedom of movement. To see why, we need to know a little about the anatomy of the hip. A ball and socket joint connects the hip bone to the thigh bone. A thin, smooth, cushioning cartilage, known as articular cartilage, covers the moving surfaces inside the joint. This serves as shock absorber and lubrication for the bones. However, it is subject to wear and tear. If the stress on the joint is too high, articular cartilage degenerates and is worn away, leaving the bones to rub against each other. This can cause inflammation, pain, swelling, stiffness, muscle weakness, and progressive loss of mobility. The condition is known as arthritis and affects a large percentage of people over 50. In advanced arthritis, the articular cartilage has been completely worn away and the bones in the hip come into direct contact. This condition, known as osteoarthritis, is a severe inflammation of the joints accompanied by chronic pain. Another common type of arthritis that can affect the hip is rheumatoid arthritis. This is caused by dysfunction of the immune system. Abnormal antibodies are produced that get deposited in the lining tissue of the joints causing chronic inflammation and slow destruction of cartilage. All such joints may be affected by rheumatoid arthritis and both sides of the body are affected equally. Whatever the type of arthritis, some cases can be successfully managed by conservative means such as medication, physiotherapy, weight control, or modification of leisure or sporting activities that aggravate the problem. Others may require minor surgery to remove diseased tissue or loose fragments of bone or cartilage to slow down the damaging process or to structurally realign the joint to reduce abnormal stress. Total hip replacement surgery is considered only for those people with severely damaged joints that can no longer be successfully managed by other means. Total hip replacement is performed primarily to relieve pain, but also for greater strength and mobility, to improve stability, and to improve functional motions such as walking and driving. Hip joint replacement surgery is one of the most reliable operations in orthopedics and consistently reduces or eliminates the pain of arthritis. The artificial hip can also improve movements in a hip joint that has become stiff and permit the patient to resume gentle activity and leisure pastimes. The patients can then get greater exercise which helps strengthen the affected hip and lead to a feeling of well-being. Often, patients who have arthritis of both hips are so pleased with their first operation that they ask for the second one to be done as soon as possible. Hip replacement employs specially designed components made of high-strength, biocompatible metals and plastics to replace the bone ends and cartilage of the joint. The ball or femoral head of the artificial hip consists of a metal stem or rod, on top of which a metal ball is attached at an angle to mimic the shape of the top end of the human thigh bone. The metal that is most commonly used for the ball is an alloy of cobalt, chromium and molybdenum. The socket or acetabulum is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. These materials have been used in joint replacement for about 30 years and their behavior in the body is well known. The components are very precisely manufactured and the surfaces are congruent, smooth and highly polished by which delicate, low friction surfaces are restored to the hip. Hip replacement is a major surgical procedure that lasts about two hours. It involves replacing the ball and the socket sections of the joint with man-made components. An incision is made on the outer aspect of the hip and upper thigh and the exposed joint then dislocated. The socket is then prepared for inserting the artificial socket 
by removing a thin layer of bone. The artificial socket is implanted and a plastic liner inserted into the shell. The next step in the operation is to replace the natural worn-out ball with an artificial one. The femoral head is removed by cutting through and then the upper end of the thigh bone is shaped to conform to the stem of the artificial ball. Hip function is checked with a trial implant following which an exact replica for permanent fixation is then inserted into the thigh bone. Once this is completed, the ball is replaced into the socket. The surgery involves a 10-day stay in the hospital and a three-month period of rehabilitation, after which the majority of patients show excellent results. There is significant relief of pain and return of good functional